third Sunday of the month, that could only mean one thing. Today it's Wheels and Waves. Spectacular! What's up, Wes? What's up? Good morning. Uh, what time is it? Uh, I don't know. Look it's there. Wheels and Waves time it's is what it is. It's 6.53. We're almost there. It's the first yeah. We had an epic day yesterday. The JDM. ADM. ADM, JDM. J yeah, I don't know. However you want to put it. The JDM. <laughs> the Cadillac over here from the Murphy Auto Museum. Which is an awesome car. All these stands from the Automobile Driving Museum. And you brought your Scion in. Okay. Hardcore. Right here. Hardcore. All right. Let's see what there is. Three Stooges? Oh, or something like that. Three uh, Amigos? There you go. Actually, there's four of them. Three men and a baby? Three little pigs? Does that, does that make me the baby? <laughs> no, does that make me the baby? <laughs> oh, okay. Do you whine a lot like I'm a baby? Sad. Cry? I don't whine at all. <laughs> This is Mel, and you brought in a rather, it's hard to describe this, because you know, when you have muscle cars and you have plastics and rat rods that come in, and things like that, every now and then you get something super cool. Thank you, That's a, it's a 1935 Auburn Boattail Speedster. But so it's, how, how long have you had this? Around 10 years. Okay, and, and did you get it the way it is, or have you done any work to it? I just uh, had a two year restoration, and I've had about yeah, 10 years. A 5.7 liter with a supercharger on it. I love driving it. I've probably driven it more than anybody that's ever owned it. I just, it's just fun. And Is it just, just for car shows or you drive it all the time? I'm a daily driver, drive it all the time. Drive my kids to school, drive to the supermarket, <laughs> drive to car shows. <laughs> and where'd you, come in? where'd you come in from? Calvass. Nice. Great drive. Awesome. Well, thanks for coming, Mel. Thank you, Tim. Very cool. My pleasure. Here's my driver. Right there. God save the queen. God save the queen. Which one? Carol's here. Now the party can begin. Yay, Carol! <laughs> she's popular. And if you need your hair done, then I she's the one to go uh, to. Dude, so you gotta get some sleep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tonight. Oh, yeah. Tonight. When I'm in Vegas. <laughs> As always, really great show. Big thanks to everybody who came out to Wheels and Waves this time. Had some fantastic examples at Auburn. Sweet! You know, what I love about this show is that every car is so different, and that makes it truly an art show. All right, time to move on. I know Kathy's at the beach. Not sure what else I'm going to be doing today. Let's go find out. Uh, crashed for a little bit. I got up way early to edit that last vlog, so about 3.30 in the morning. Had to get a little bit more sleep in. Grabbed a bite to eat. Now I'm headed up into town. Kathy's at the booth. She's surfing. Although the waves are one to two, not a big deal. Don't expect much. Also incredibly foggy now, but I'm gonna go up into town and search around, see if I can spot her. Felt the deep just to see it fade. What I know versus what I feel What is hope and what I know is real But I do know When I dream of you The sun is never there And when I sing of you You seem to disappear
like the time when you held my hand Making plans about our promised land Was it so hard to see it through The kind of thing you're supposed to is about choices. That's all it is. It's just about choices. You make choices throughout the day. Here, let me let me let me explain what I mean by that. Okay, fancy little chart. This this is your universe. And your universe consists of your friends and you know where you live and your health and the status of your money and all these different things. And every single day you got to deal with your universe. And we all each of us have our own individual universe. Fireball universe, your universe. Now the cool thing about having your universe is, is it's, it's as big as you make it. It's as big as you believe it can be. You can have a tiny little universe and you can live in a tiny little apartment and have a tiny little car and eat tiny little food or you can have a really big universe like like a, a Richard Branson universe in where it's it's bigger than the planet. It's as big as the real universe. But this is your universe, regardless of how big it is. It's as big as you believe it is. But now, in your universe, you got your friends, I'm reading this backwards, your stuff, you got your, your fun, you got your health, you got all these different things in your universe. And how good, how good these are going depends on how you, how you think about them. Right here, see? how you think, you know, how, how you think your money is, is happening is what you're getting. How you think your health is, is what you're, basically what you're giving into it. So the thoughts that you think about your health, you can always tell how, how healthy someone is because they, that's how they talk. If they talk about, oh, they're having bursitis or they're having this problem, then they do. But if they think, oh, my health is awesome, you know, and they, they affirm that all the time, then they're always healthy. They're always feeling good. Now, it comes back to choices, you know. You, you don't have to go with what you think you see is and, and choose that. You can choose whatever you want. You can decide, I'm healthy. And then, guess what? You manifest health. Or, I, I got a really cool car. And guess what? A really cool car appears. That's, it's simple. It's it's a scientific probability. It's, it's a scientific fact. It's, it's like a mathematical equation that you gotta learn how to do the math properly. And when you do, voila, everything kind of shows up. But this is your universe. This is your universe and you get to design it however you want. But your universe is only the way it is because of how you think. And if you think like crap, then guess what? You get crap. But if you think cool, then guess what? You get cool. And things get cooler and cooler every day. And your motto should be every day in every way, my life gets cooler and cooler. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, now some of you may look at this and go like, what the hell is Fireball talking about? What does this have to do with a car vlog and all that kind of stuff? It has everything to do with it, everything. Because you can't have cool cars or appreciate cool cars if you're in a hospital bed and you're unhealthy. You can't appreciate cool cars if you're broke. You can't go to a car show if you don't have any gas money, unless it's like right down the street, you can walk to it. But then again, if you lost your foot or something like that, you can't even walk to the show. Keeps all this together? What's the secret ingredient that holds your universe in place? Well, I'm gonna tell you right after these, right after these announcements. No, I'm just kidding, There's, we don't have any commercials. There's, there's no commercial. The secret to what keeps your universe together. It's very simple, it's called gratitude. Just be grateful for the things that you have and then more of those things will come. If you're constantly complaining about your health, then guess what, your health just goes <clears throat> If you give gratitude about your health and how, how good you feel, even if you don't feel that great, you convince yourself that you're feeling good, you get your mindset in the, on the right vibe of feeling good, then guess what, goodness happens. So roundabout way, I'm getting to my point here, and that is I'm grateful for you guys 
you know, anybody and everybody who comes to Wilson Waves, they get there to show their cars, they're, they're positive, they feel good, it's right on the water, it's a great experience, and we just have a good time. And I'm grateful for those people. I'm grateful for my friends, I'm grateful for the, the people at the gym, the people that I that I meet on a consistent basis. Uh, tomorrow I'm heading over to, uh, heading up to the Murphy Museum, gonna meet up with David Neal, we're doing some great stuff. Nicest guy on the planet. You can tell right away, he's a very grateful guy. So there it is in a nutshell. Your universe right here. It's as big as you want it to be. It's how you think. So be grateful about all the cool, th cool stuff that's going on in your life. And guess what? Your life is going to expand. What you put your attention on, what you put your focus on is what grows. So don't put your focus on the crap. Put your focus on the good stuff and then good stuff happens. That's it for today's vlog. Gratitude is what it's all about. This is vlog 400 and I'm not sure how many it is.